welcome back friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology and in this series of videos we are going to help you understand the CSI net exam and actually I'm going to tell you the tips and tricks that will help you to boost your score as well as that will help you to gain some knowledge about the exam so that you can exceed so the question is in this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most asked questions regarding the CSI net exam. That is why we need to qualify this exam. And exactly without qualifying CSI net exam, is there any chance of doing PhD? So if you think of this question that what other options that you have without qualifying CSI or UGC net exam to do PhD, this video is just for you. So what are the options? Now, the first thing that I should tell you before going into discussing other options uh, rather than CSR UGC net I first tell you the importance of CSR UGC net the thing is in India if you want to do higher study including in, in live and actually carrying this particular subject life sciences for the higher study and research uh, there is not much option left without CSR UGC net but there are also many other options to do and conduct your own PhD from different in institutes but CSR UGC net is the most prestigious and that particular fellowship that is CSR UGC net JRF fellowship is also very high as well as most prestigious and it's almost like the father of all the other uh, exams that are present there. So always it's a better idea to qualify CSR UGC net but now let's say you're trying CSR UGC net and as it's a very good one so all the people are trying for qualifying CSR UGC net so it becomes really really difficult and the competition is really high and skyrocketing day by day so what are the other options that you can go actually all the major research institutes in India all the other CSR institutes and major research institutes they conduct their own PhD entrance examinations just like they all conduct their own MSc admission entrance examinations so it's becoming a fashion even right now all the most most of like 90 percent or above 90 percent of the institutes are conducting their own MSc entrance examinations by looking at the big universities and colleges so it's becoming a fashion day by day now the thing is you know it's not like whenever someone is conducting an admission test it's going to be that tough or difficult not like that the thing is you know all the universities and colleges need to show that uh, they have some good place to stand and you need to fight for it this is the mentality that they are going to go for it but it's not going to be that much competitive like the CSR UGC net exam so you can try all these different types of exams because entire syllabus if you study for CSR UGC net will become very very similar with that of all the other institute uh, that they conducting exams although mm, very little information are available regarding each of the exams because uh, they provide some advertisement during a specific month of the year and actually I try to gather the information from all these uh, websites regarding at which month they are going to put the advertisement and what type of exams are there and what are the institutes which are conducting all those exams so I prepared a list for it I find it online and also compile that list and that's what I'm going to tell you today to, so you can easily take a note uh, of those institutes and the month that they provide advertisement generally so that you can apply for all of it because once you're preparing for CUCR UGC net exam uh, if you prepare well then you can apply for all these different places because the eligibility criteria for most of them are similar and same but for few cases a little different for few cases they will demand uh, that you have maths or physics during your BSc and MSc in some cases they may demand that you should uh, conduct your MSc and should have conduct your MSc in earth science things like that but most of the thing uh, the eligibility criteria is the same or uh, approximately 55 percent score during their masters and a good standing uh, what we can say the score as a good standing value like right? if you have all these things you can easily continue with any of this exam that I am going to tell you in the second part of this video so watch the second part of the video to know about your options okay so now we will see the list of important phd entrance tests apart from csr ugc net because i told you that there are many other options as well so here we are going to see the number of different institutes and the date uh, generally about the approximate month when they uh, start to provide the notification for the exam and as well as uh, the institute and under which specific governing body it's conducted so let's look at it 
So the the first one is CSA Regisinate exam uh, conducted twice June and December conducted under CSIR. Then NCBS joint graduate entrance examination for biology and interdisciplinary life sciences known as JGEEBILS. The tentative date uh, is in month December conducted by National Center for Biological Sciences Bangalore or NCBS Bangalore. DBT GRF which is a biotech entrance test conducted uh, about uh, February Department of Biotechnology India. TIFR graduate school admission entrance test that is the tentative month of November and conducted by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research Mumbai. The fifth one ICMR junior research fellowship tentative date for conductance is July and it's conducted by Indian Council of Medical Research New Delhi. Six NIMHANS N -I -M -H -A -N -S, PG or PG diploma or super specialty or PhD online entrance test. Tentative date is February conducted by National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience Bangalore. JNU PhD entrance tentative date is May and conducted by Jawaharlal Nehru University New Delhi. GRF GATE tentative date February and Council of Scientific and Industrial Research that is CSIR conducts GATE as well. Ninth NIPER PhD entrance test tentative month is the June and it's conducted by National Institute of Pharmaceuticals Education and Research NIPER. Tenth University of Hyderabad PhD entrance exam tentative month June and conducted by University of Hyderabad. Then GTU PhD entrance exam tentative month April conducted by Gujarat Technological University Ahmedabad. NBRC PhD entrance exam tentative month May conducted by National Brain Research Center Gurgaon. BITS PhD entrance examination tentative date June or July conducted by BITS Pilani. AIIMS PhD entrance exams specially designed for conducting PhD in AIIMS Tentative dates are twice, January as well as in July, conducted by All India Institutes of Medical Sciences, AIIMS, New Delhi. 15th, IISC PhD entrance exam. They particularly select candidates for their own PhD program. Uh, tentative date is April and conducted by Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore, IISC Bangalore. NDRI PhD entrance exam, tentative month June, conducted by National Dairy Research Institute. And Baba Shaheb Bhim Rao Ambedkar University Lucknow PhD entrance examination test. Uh, the date is varying over the time, but it's generally conducted by the same university that is Baba, Baba Shaheb Bhim Rao Ambedkar University. 18th BARC PhD admission test tentative month February conducted by Bhava Atomic Research Center or BARC. ISM Dhanbad PhD admission test. Tentative dates May only. Environmental science candidate can apply. Conducted by Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad. So generally, it's it's very specific for only environmental science students. If you have environmental science special paper, you can go for it. Indian Veterinary Research Institute Berili PhD admission test. Tentative month May. Conducted by ICAR Indian Veterinary Research Institute Berili. BINC Bioinformatics National Certification BINC examination tentative dates February or March conducted by Bioinformatics National Certification or BINC. So these are all the different types of exams that you can go for. There may be some more but these are some very important one and some recognized type of PhD entrance test. As you see that for all specific research institutes they conduct uh, their own PhD entrance test. So it's not likely that you are not qualified CSI and NET. It's nothing going to happen. You can apply to any of this. And once you're prepared for CSI and NET exam, you can literally go for all these different types of PhD entrance examinations because uh, the syllabus that they cover for the PhD entrance test is approximately same that's following the CSI UGC NET. But in some cases, for example, in bioinformatics, BINC examination, the bioinformatics part will be new, will be added, which is not present in CSR UGC NET syllabus. 
or in case of veterinary research the questions will be little bit uh, termed and little bit coiled in terms of that veterinary institute and that particular sci scientific field. Apart from that most of the things are same. So hope you like the video. If you like this video please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. And I'll try to put uh, this particular PDF in our website. So the link for the website is given in the description as well as I try to put, put it into a card or annotation here. You can also check out our online and offline coaching classes for getting some extra advantage and benefit by uh, understanding the exam very well and also uh, to get some help regarding guiding the CSI net exam. You can also check that one out in our annotations card as well as in the description. So thank you very much. Thank you for watching.